Hi guys, in today's video of Yusuke no Kinawa Season 2, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the Tomarite Karate and the Nahate Karate spots. Although basic information can be found online about these senseis, I was able to find a really nice detail by actually going to these monuments. So let's get started with the first spot. We're currently located in Onoyama Koen, uh, and within this park, uh, Koen means park in Japanese, uh, there is a temple called Okinogu Temple. Uh, the reason why I'm here is to see the Gichin Funakoshi's monument of Karate ni Sente Nashi. This temple is one of the seven um, authorized um, temples by the Ryukyu Kingdom. It was built in 1451, although they changed the spots um, from their original place to this park, um, it is still regarded as one of the, um, the top, I would say, authorized temples here. And we're gonna be, yeah, it's right off the corner, uh, the Gichin Funakoshi Monument, so let's just keep on walking for a few minutes. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Shotokan, um, Shotokan is one of the mainland Japan um, karate styles. And Gichin Funakoshi is the founder um, of that style. Gichin Funakoshi was an Okinawan person, uh, grew up in the Okinawa, and you know, um, cultivated his karate uh, skills here in Okinawa. However, um, since he was one of the elites um, of this kingdom, he was basically um, sent to the Japanese uh, mainland Japan. Uh, especially to Edo, where Tokyo is right now. Um, so there, he took karate, made it into within the public system, the school system, and he spread it to colleges and universities of Japan, the top universities, I would say, um, like Keio, Waseda, uh, Tokyo University, all these elite universities. He founded the karate club there and spread it Shotokan to the elite um, of Japan, making it one of the top, most accessible martial arts uh, here in Japan. So guys, this is finally the monument. I'm so surprised I'm here right now. In the middle, it says uh, Karate Do, uh, Shotokan Ryu, Shotokan style, So, which means the founder, uh, Funakoshi Gichin. The last name we read it first in Japanese, Funakoshi Gichin Sensei, teacher, and says Karate ni Sente Nashi. So I guess this is the main part. And on to the left side, there's the Shoto Nijukun. Um, there are a lot of Shotokan organizations, but some follow this 20, I would say, teachings in Shotokan. So from 1 to 20 here. Uh, these are, ba I, I assume, the, the organizations that you know, um, made this monument possible. And Okama Sensei, the Gojiryu Sensei that we visited in season one, he's here at the top uh, under Sekai Shoto Budo Sai Jiko Inkai. Very fancy name, but basically some Shotokan organization. Uh, this one, Kokusai uh, Shotokan Karate Do Renme, International Shotokan Federation, under a lot of international senseis too, like Stephen Tabak. I'm not so sure who that is, but all the uh, senseis here. And um, right here, this is basically explaining who Gijin Funakoshi is. So, I mean, you can read all these later, but the historical um, aspect of Gichin Funakoshi. And this was made, um, this whole thing, this whole place was made in Heisei Jukunen, which is um, 2007. So it's a pretty new monument to have. So if you ever come to Okinawa, I think this is a must visit uh, place to see. So maybe, you know, wear your dogi, take some pictures here, and let's head off to our second spot. Hello from under the Gajumaru tree, the traditional tree of Okinawa. Uh, we're currently in this random park in the middle of the city of Naha, uh, simply because I want to introduce you guys uh, the monument of Shoshin Nagamine. Shoshin Nagamine is the founder of a style called Matsubai Shiryu, which is a mixture of Tomarite and Shurite. Uh, if you have watched my season one of Yusuke in Okinawa, I visited um, uh, the dojo of Matsubai Shiryu. It had a characteristic such as Kansetsu Yakudo, relaxing the, um, the joints uh, to whip out the technique. Also, in yesterday, I went to a Shogen Ryu, which is a minor deviant um, of Sho Matsubai Shiryu. And their founder is same, same thing, um, Shoshin Nagamine. So, here we are. Ooh, a lot of spider webs here. Um, it says on the top, Matsubai Shiryu Kaiso. Kaiso means the founder. Uh, Nagamine Shoshin. Uh, it says, I still haven't trained enough, until, um, even when I'm in heaven. So, you know, you can see how much he loves to train. And also, oh, surprisingly, there's an English 
um, translation as well. So you can you know, come here, um, read who he is, what he has accomplished. Two important things that you should remember about Shoshin Nagamine is of course, founder of Matsubai Shiryu, and also he has made Fukyugata Ichi. Fukyugata is the kata that the Okinawan styles practice uh, here in Okinawa. It's, it's basically like their hands. Um, in mainland Japan, you don't, nobody, I would say, if you don't do my Okinawan um, karate, you don't hear uh, Fukyugata Ichi. Fukyugata Ichi, like Danbarai uh, Oizuki. Uh, this is uh, Fukyu Gataichi. And yeah, why don't you guys come over here and just check this out. So guys, currently we're in a small alleyway of the small district called Tomari within Naha. If you guys know, a, know your karate history correctly, Tomari, like you know, is from Tomari Te, right? Tomari Te, a lot of the karate styles that originated within this district. The reason why I'm here today is because there is this small small, I don't know if you can call it a monument, um, but this small uh, information right here of Mushi, Bushi Matsumura. Uh, Matsumura Kosaku, like you guys know, is a, one of the founders of Tomari Te uh, Karate style. Um, if you guys come, can come closer here. Um, karate, kakko Tomari Te, uh, Tomari style. Uh, chuso no uh, Matsumura Kosaku. Uh, chuso meaning um, the, one of the, so since it's not really a clear, there aren't any clear founders of Tomarite, um, he is one of the, the one of the, the famous senseis um, in the, from in the 1800s. So 18, born in 1829 um, and passed away in 1898. Uh, was uh, from the Tomari Mura, Mura meaning the town uh, of Tomari. Uh, he spent here, uh, he trained karate uh, throughout his whole life and until he passed away he dedicated his time and effort into passing down his uh, the katas that he learned such as passai and naihanchi. Famous karate senseis that got his teachings were Choki Motobu and Kyan Chotoku. If you can come here it's a small you might you know miss it but uh, if you guys can go into the description box and click on the map link um, you can just see everything that I've been introducing in this video. So if you ever come back here, I mean come here to Okinawa for the first time, just click on that link and just walk around and see where the, uh, the places are. So currently we have switched the location to Matsuyama Koen or Matsuyama Park in English in the middle of the city of Naha. Right outside of the city, I mean outside of this park, there are buildings, you know, it's, it's a pretty bustling city, but it's a really nice and tranquil uh, park in here. The reason why I'm here is to see now a Nahate or Nahati uh, related uh, monument. As some of you guys know, Higaonna Kanryo or Kanryo Higaonna is one of the most influential per people that made Nahate or in modern um, styles, Gojuryu in its current form. So the monument that I am seeing right now on this side is Kanryo Higaonna, is honoring Kanryo Higaonna and uh, Chojun Miyagi. Chojun Miyagi is the founder of Gojuryu and as you can see right here on the right, it says Higaonna Kanryo on the right side and on the second line right here it says Miyagi Chojun. In the middle it says Kensho Hi which basically is saying like an honored, um, it's an honored uh, monument. I would say that would be the direct translation. If you can come a bit closer here, you see the peep, um, the hand, um, you know, actual curving um, of them doing the Nahate. This form, I would say it's a it's a mashiuke, a, a form going before into the mashiuke. So this form. But I'm not sure what the second form is doing. Maybe something random. But interesting. Oh, this is pretty interesting. Come closer. He's sitting in shikodachi. The toes are pointed outside. So, you know, if you do um, some shorin um, ryu related or uh, shurite, like shito ryu shotokan, we do the kibadachi like. The kibadachi, we, the outside is parallel, right? Uh, Shotokan people do it wide, Okinawan pe people do it a little bit narrow, but however, the common um, concept is this like being straight and turning in. But if you can see here, it's shikodachi. Goju-ryu and Nahate people, the shikodachi, toes pointed to the outside. So, you know, I never knew you would actually see such a detail here until I come here. All right, so coming over to the back side um, of the monument that you saw, there are these um, writings here. 
Um, there aren't any um, English translations, so let me just briefly um, translate what it's saying here. Um, on, the, on this paragraph right here, so the, there are two paragraphs here. On this paragraph talks about uh, Higaon Na Sensei, uh, the founder of Nahate, the original vague um, karate groups. Um, it says uh, he was born in um, 1853 and he has passed away in 1917. Uh, born in Naha, uh, Nishimachi, maybe the direct um, the, the address, uh, under his father, mother, uh, as a fourth son. Um, at age 20, he went to China and to practice or to learn the southern um, Shaolin uh, Kung Fu of uh, White Crane. Uh, some of you guys might know that, uh, White Crane, this one, White Crane. And uh, he spent uh, 15 years practicing it. And he opened a Nahate Dojo uh, in 1889. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And yeah, he has been uh, practicing uh, or training, or he had been practicing and training in China for numbers of years. And on the on the next paragraph, Cho Jun Miyagi-sensei, born in 1888 to 1953, founder of Goju-ryu, uh, Bushinona, uh, also known as Bushi, or a warrior. Uh, uh, when he was 14, he went under Higaonna sensei and together with him, he went over to China to basically to research and to train. Uh, founded Goju-ryu in 1930 uh, and it says this is the first karate style uh, in Japan. Maybe that is a controversial um, part, however, um, if you guys are from Goju-ryu or Nahate, please come check this one out. So in this episode, we focused on staying within the city or the district of Naha and focusing on showing you guys what Nahate and Tomarite has to offer. Tomari is within the district of Naha, so that's why it made it in this list of the video. Uh, we're going to be moving up north in the next episode to Shuri. Shuri is where the castle um, Shurijo is. So there you'll be seeing some Shurite related monuments and places important for karate. So if you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and look forward for the next episode. See you guys in Shuri.